Hey, what's up guys? I'm Luke. I'm Ainsley. And we are Stream Queenie. Uh, we are going to talk today about a movie that um, I believe it's on uh, Stars. you can watch. Um, that's where we watched it at. Um, maybe on Prime as well, but I know it's for sure on Stars where you don't like have to pay anything to watch it. So this movie uh, is um, about uh, heights, like being up high. It's about daredevils. But it, it's, it's about being up high though. Are you scared of heights? No. Scared of water. Okay, that's a totally different thing. Well, that's like the opposite. It's like, I would rather go on like a space shuttle than like a submarine. Oh, okay. Well, that makes like, so you would rather, you would rather like go up in the like thing with Elon Musk. Yeah. Then go on the Titanic. Uh, so the name of this movie that we watched is called uh, Fall. A horrible thing happened to you. I just want you to be able to move on with your life. Come here. It's coming up on a year. I have something that's planned, and I need a partner in crime. The B-67 TV tower. I haven't climbed since... Becky! If you don't confront your fears, you are always going to be afraid. <gasps> Let's do it. Let's climb your stupid tower. Oh, I'm so oh. excited! Tell you again. I was really ripped. You're awesome. That is the Becky that we need for this trip. This is sick. Damn it, Hunter. What are you getting us into? Okay, so just stay behind me, one rung at a time. See? It's easy. Becky, you gotta come up here. Hey, trust me. What was that? Oh my god, Hunter, how do we get down? I don't have a signal. The water is down there in that bag. We have 50 feet of rope. I think I can drop myself lower. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna jump onto the bag. Hunter, no! Hunter! Every hour that passes, the weaker we get. If anyone called 911, they'd be here by now. What is it that Dan used to say? If you're scared of dying, don't be afraid to live. So, uh, you know, probably the biggest name in this movie was uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, and he played a very small part in it. Very, very small. Um, he, was, he was the only one I recognized. And he was in it for about five minutes, but he did his Jeffrey Dean Morgan thing and made a lasting impression for the little bit of time that he was in the movie, yeah. I feel like. I was talking to uh, one of my friends uh, about this movie, and um, uh, he uh, his name's Craig, and he does... Uh, uh, on occasion, he and another one of my friends named Sean, they do a, um, a, a kind of similar uh, review show, and they it's called Macabre Matinee. So check that out if you guys get a chance to uh, to check it out. Uh, but we were talking about this, and he was like, this uh, movie and the premise of this movie, Fall, is the whitest <laughs> Like, he's like, it's just white people Like, Although, oddly... One of the characters in it isn't locked. But, I mean, yeah, true, true, true. This movie was, it was, it was really, I enjoyed it. I thought it was very different for what it was. Um, and I feel like in general, we've kind of been watching some more horror movies that were more like true to life stuff, you know? Yeah. I don't know how stupid somebody would have to be to do what's in this movie, right? Oh, what? tons of people do stupid stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, like, I wouldn't do it, 
No. You wouldn't do it, no. I don't think. Um, I know James wouldn't do it because he's extremely scared of heights. There's a twist in this at a, at a part of the movie. Um, the relationship between the two girls, uh, you know, the fact that there's, uh, you know, I don't think this is very much of a spoiler because I think you kind of get this from even the, the trailer, but that, um, you know, the, the tragedy that happens and the fact that the girl um, doesn't go back out or do anything like this, doesn't because they used to they used to climb mountains and, and do all this rock climbing and things, and then there's a tragedy that happens uh, with somebody close to her and she she doesn't do that for like a year and then her friend it seems like becomes an even more like. She, she starts like a YouTube show and starts doing it as a personality. Yeah, yeah. She becomes like a personality, and I mean, she does it for clicks and for likes and all that kind of stuff. Um, and the way that this movie, I mean, the 95%, well, probably more than that, 98% of this movie happens on top of a tower. I mean, yeah. and I enjoyed the movie. I don't know how much you liked it. Uh, I mean, because you watched it a second time without me. <laughs> I do wish there was like so one of the things that I didn't necessarily care for there was a there was a part where there were some people that were out kind of stationed outside. We never really found anything else out about those people or what they were doing there or like you know like we could have we could have gotten a, a newspaper article or something at the end to find out what happened to those people or what these those people were doing or whatever else. I think which people are you talking about? Um. Spoiler alert! There were the the people that like they tried to they stole their car. Yeah, yeah, and all um, that stuff. Yeah, like I would have liked to have known. You uh, know. I didn't really ever wonder about them again. I, I just did. figured they were a couple of assholes, obviously, because they knew two people were in distress, and they not only stole their shit, they didn't even bother. Well, and then they kind of like calling the police, and then they and then they. When they were looking through them through the their binoculars, it seemed like they were laughing, kind of laughing at them too, like because they, they kind of waved at them, and were almost like it seemed like kind of like teasing them, I guess. This wasn't a jump scare movie, you know. Yeah. But there was a lot of like tense moments in the film, and like I said, the I I felt like this was completely realistic, like something that people. could happen yeah I mean probably because wouldn't people do this. yes and wouldn't happen to us you know yeah. but like could happen to somebody I would give it a solid two and a half screens um you know I really liked this I thought it was really good um I didn't have to watch it a second time <laughs> through but uh, I really enjoyed this and I'm gonna give this one like a much higher rating I'm thinking we give this one four screams because I thought it was I thought it was very original I thought the idea was um, I mean it's, it wasn't perfect by any stretch of the imagination um, I didn't feel like it drug on I mean like you already said the, the pace kept up in it one of the most original things I think that I've seen in, in quite a while um, I, I don't think they'll be able to do something like this again. Like I just I like it. I don't know how they could do it and do it the right way. So I think that's why. Just for originality alone, I think I'm bumping it up quite a bit for me. I would say check it out. Uh, hey yo, Cheddar. <laughs> uh, if you're, I mean, trigger warning. If you're extremely scared of heights, um, you're probably not going to be able to. Um, but like, only like if you're phobia level. What well, some people are. Some people are. Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying, like, watch out for like this could. I I know uh, somebody that I know I was telling them about, and they said their wife can't watch it. Like she just couldn't because it's she's extremely extremely scared of heights. So like probably phobia level, like you're saying. Uh, if you guys would do us a favor, and if you would uh, hit that like button, and subscribe, and share with your friends. Uh, comment we have a ton of um past episodes that you can check out uh at this point i think if you started now that we would have a year's worth of, so like if you started and you watch like one a week then you would be able to watch a year's worth i'm luke i'm ainsley and we are screen cleaning and we'll catch you guys next time